Hey, Ratchet, this is your girl, Hawaii, you know, honey, coming at you with a face routine and a wig review and style review, okay? So, first thing I'm going to start off with is my face. I'm going to be doing some um, foundation routines. And I know I've just recently done one, but I haven't done, I didn't do any with my photo ready. And I love this stuff very much. I really like how it covers my skin, how it covers my face and gives my face full reflect, okay? It really does set my skin off in my opinion but before I get started on the foundation I wanted to let you know what I applied first I am using my Sally Hansen concealer and it's in the color dark and I'm also going to be using my elf concealer which I've already applied both concealers first underneath my bad patches where the dark spots may appear and that's on my face or whatever and my um, puffiness okay now I haven't exactly got a chance to try any serum for my face because I've been, I've been kind of uh, nitpicking on what to buy for my face. But I do use a regular cleaning substance for my face. I use um, Noxzema to clean. And, I'm sorry about that, guys. I also use um, this stuff that I use. It's called uh, by St. Ives. And it's a very beautiful uh, smelling uh, exfoliate for my skin and I like the way it cleanses my skin and yeah y'all have to excuse my eyebrows I am in the process of going to get them done pretty soon so right now they're going to be kind of trashy looking because I don't have them thinned out or anything but hey I am only human right <laughs> but anyway let's get started on my, my uh, routine foundation and this is going to be with photo ready in the color zero tint caramel and this is my red one, okay? So I'm going to just go ahead and apply this on top of my concealer first. And I, I'll kind of blend it all in together to kind of get um, a use of it. If, if you guys are wondering what brush I'm using, I'm using this brush here from Coastal Scents. They sent this brush to me, not for review, but I ordered some stuff and I got the brush sent for free a while back. I say about two or three months ago, if not longer. It came with the order that I, I, I made a place with them. So everything that you see was purchased with my own money. Nothing was sent to me for review. This is my own view and my own opinion on things. Okay guys, and this here is my coverage from the Photo Ready Foundation. And I'm gonna also take some more of my concealer and this here is in fair and this is by elf and more than likely you can pick up these uh, I picked up these at the Dollar Tree um, store and they were a dollar so I'm gonna go back and get me some more eventually because um, I'm running low on it and I need to pick up me another bottle of photo ready I'm gonna load it now you notice that I also use soft sable and this is by true this is true match by um, L'Oreal I also use that, but this time I'm only using my Revlon Photo Ready, and I'm also just using my concealers for this look today. Now, um, I'm going to apply some more of my dark concealer by uh, Sally Hansen, and I want to see show you how it's so creamy, and it just really, really, really stands off for my eyes. I'm going to put some in the top of my eyes, too, because... I have little spots there from time to time too. Because my skin is so, I think dry, it's dry in some spots. Not a lot, just some spots that I noticed that it dries out. So I have a combination, I think, skin. But I'm not for sure yet. But I just use whatever I know that I can afford. I'm just being honest. Um, now, I'm going to do a eye look for my um, palette after I've done my, re my week review. Now let's talk about uh, Grace, and y'all notice that I look a hot mess right now. I don't have on my lace front. And we're going to talk about lace front Grace, and like I told you before, she is from the Vivica Fox collection. This here, and she is a beautiful P427. I got her because I won a giveaway. And I got a gift certificate to order what I want on the website. So I picked the Lace Front Grace. She's a very beautiful Lace Front wig. 
Um, she's very curly. She has, like I said before, she has three combs in the front part and adjustable straps in the Okay. Y'all excuse me, I'll be right back. Sorry about that, guys. I had a disturbance at my door. Children are following me. But we were talking about lace front grace, and she, like I said, she's in the color P427. She's got highlights. She doesn't come with any baby hairs or anything, but she does have an invisible um, liner and everything. She has a stretch cap um, to put over, and you know the regular inside, you know, like that, but stretch cap. So I'm going to go ahead and apply her to my hair. Head. Sorry. And uh, show you what styles you can do with Grace. And just like I said, I only do so much minimum because I don't want to uh, interrupt any curls in her. Because I love the curls that it's flowing. And she's a very pretty wig. I'm just going to apply the combs. I, I apply the combs because I don't want anything to fall out. But I also use body pins as well to hold down um, with glue I don't use. Okay. You don't have to use her with uh, glue, but you can. They send like little tape glue, whatever, with the, with my lace front. But um, anywho, let's say this is a beautiful, great, elegant lace front. She has two inches of parting. Okay. I am going to try to find my comb here, which I don't see. We're gonna use a small broken comb and just show you guys. Okay. You just part her down. You know, sir. The things. Now we can just uh pull her down in the back. And she comes from Ellen H Boutique Boutique. So I'm gonna place the website um in the description box so you can go check the wig out and uh, they got other things they sell jewelry they sell um hair accessories beautiful beautiful hair accessories and everything now i'm going to take some body things and i'm just going to show you what i can do with lace front grace as soon as i think okay, i found them find them <laughs> i have to work things around here and can't find things wow there you go. You got five kids. It happens. Okay, I'm just gonna take. I'm just gonna do here. I'm just gonna lay this down on the side so I can keep the hair covered. I'm just gonna take her and kind of brush her to the side. You know, give like a a beautiful uh, fair faucet kind of a look. <laughs> and I just want to let you guys know. That's the most beautiful curls ever. And so let's just try, um, like if you want to just pin her up, make sure you keep your pull down the sides, whatever. And if you want to pull out your hair, that's fine, but I, I don't, because my hair is uh, in my stocking cap and it's not straight. Sorry about the noise, guys, that's my kid. So I'm just going to take her and I'm going to pin her to the side like this, you know, give her a nice little side look, okay? Got some hair sticking up here. And, just like I said, she's a very pretty bitch. She's very soft. Now, she is synthetic. And again, most wigs tangle. You're going to get, you're going to have that issue, okay? So, yeah, you're going to have issues with tangling. And I'm going to also take the bobby pins that I have here, take them out. So I'm going to show you exactly what else you can do with her. And you know, most of you guys probably know that I've also got her in a ponytail. Not a high ponytail, but a low, a low ponytail. So just kind of pull the hair behind your ears. And we're going to just take this bobby pin here. Okay. I'm going to just pin it up. 
you put it on your face, because it's really hot, and you don't want all this hair in your face. So, I mean, most of you ladies can agree. And I'm just going to turn around so you guys can see my ponytail. Look how pretty pearl dish. Okay. And I mean, this is just a beginning. You can keep the take the points to hold out. Look how pretty that sets off the drop and tone it back. You got a beautiful look for a ball, a party, a wedding, um, prom, whatever. Um, <clears throat> but I know this is just a little bit a half draft of lace front braids, but I'm pretty sure you can do this style of lace front braids. And if you know how to work these curly ones, hey, you know exactly what to do then. And I guess I just wanted to go a, a quick review of lace front braids. Let you know that she's a very pretty curly wig that is very nice to do. You know, you can, like I said, you can do updos. I mean, I know that she's not like a full a uh, full front, a uh, full lace wig. She's a lace front wig, but I'm pretty sure you can work around the edges and take out your own hair. I mean, I, I like saying that you can, there's something you can just put on and easily go because she is very pretty. And like I said, I just put two bottle pins to the side and she's holding quite well. She doesn't um, hurt or anything. And and I'm gonna turn around again so you guys can see the back. She's maybe 18 to 20 inches in length. And because I'm saying that, she because she's curly, I'm pretty sure if you pull the curls, she's longer. Okay? But this hair is Lace Front Grace. And, yeah, I'll be back with the makeup tutorial. So stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.